Finally, I got the invite. Okay, we got to go. Sneak to college party. Oh, wait, let me change my aspiration. That was almost a disaster. And there she goes. She's sneaking out to a college party, even though there's nobody there to sneak out from. Finally, we get credit for it. Oh, you have no idea how long that took. So yeah, I have no idea how long it's been in game time. But basically, I've just been sleeping away in the coffin as a vampire. And we will get to the rest of the story now because we can finally progress now that we've earned this live fast aspiration. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get all the aspirations, complete all the skills, get top level in all the careers, get all the degrees, and everything you can do for a single sim. Now, we've been stuck on the teenage phase for a long time because of this live fast aspiration where we need to sneak out to a party. So what I have done is turn Carla into a vampire. And she did something pretty evil, or at least maybe I did. Um, we deleted all of the adults and young adults and elders from my game that she knew because I wanted to use the vampire skill of the life draining ability to reset her relationship with ev everyone so that she didn't know any adults or young adults or elders but unfortunately she has the trait from the popularity aspiration that makes her unforgettable. It's called Beloved, and everyone remembers a beloved Sim. Their relationships never fade. I thought this just meant that her relationship wouldn't decay over time, but it turns out if you drain the life spirit as a vampire, it does reset your relationship and your romance bar down to zero but you still know the person and you don't have to introduce yourself again so unfortunately we had to do a thanos type snap uh we deleted almost half of the sims in my game which actually turned out to be quite good for the game itself and we fast forwarded a few weeks and most of the ghosts are also gone. Now what I did is I set aging off for everyone except for Carla. So I did move the horses out of the household after a, a while. We did lose two of them. So we just have Cleopatra, Butterscotch and Tornado now. The two oldest horses passed away. So I didn't want all of the horses to die out, so I, after the first one died, I basically moved them out into another household so that they could not age with the rest of the population. And that meant that any new teens that Carla met would remain teenagers for the rest of the time, and only Carla would need to reset her age using the age potions. So she did that for maybe three or four weeks. I can't remember how long it was. I just fast forwarded time by spending some time in my coffin because you can do that as a vampire. You can just hibernate and fast forward time. And it took a few weeks, but we did finally get that invite to a party as you saw. And Carla has gone to the party and now she just needs to live out her life as a vampire after finishing the rest of this aspiration because I forgot. It's two more levels of the aspiration. So you're stuck on level two out of four by having to get out to that party. And I thought this would be an interesting outfit for her because this is her dark form and she actually has the same outfit and look for all of her outfits in the dark form and it's basically a purple vampire dress and face paint i like the blue skin for the vampire dark form so we'll keep her in that for now i have not seen the results of any of the polls or comments on skin tone yet so 
we will wait until after this part of the series until we decide what her skin tone should be. Now, a couple other things that I have done is I have hired a butler and I have Patchy and a gardener. And it doesn't really matter because all of these stupid plants keep getting weeds. And so my butler spends all day weeding the plants and they never get weeded. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to try and get these plants up to perfect and harvest them once and then probably get rid of them because the whole point of this is trying to get a perfect plant for every single type of plant and once they get weeds it seems like they can never be weeded again we also have a ranch hand and a maid and so we probably won't have to do too much to keep up the place. At least that's what I'm hoping. I have progressed on some of her vampire aspirations also while I was waiting to get that invite to a party. So we are almost done with the vampire aspirations. The only thing that we have to do right now is keep from drinking without permission for two more days and then survive as a vampire for nine more days. So we need to spend at least one more week, probably a week and a half as a vampire. And then I did get her her job back as a coffee stain remover as, as a barista, because one of the milestones is to get fired. So my plan is just to not go to this job and see how long it takes until I drop to the red performance and they fire me, because maybe that will count for the milestone. We've also been working on the horse riding aspiration. So I've been trying to get Tornado's skills up because it seems like the elder horses don't last long enough in order to do all of the races. So I'm hoping because Tornado is not an elder that she will be able to do everything. Oh, I forgot to mention that with the snap, we actually did have to delete Kathy and Ghidri and also Lily who was Carla's mother and Renee because Renee had aged up into a young adult as well. So what I did is I saved them to the gallery first and after Carla got her invitation I imported them back into the game. So they are in the game again. However, Carla just doesn't know them. So we can run into them and reintroduce ourselves, but Lily won't officially be her mother anymore. And it looks like all of the sisters had to be deleted as well, except for Aelin and Macy, who were already dead. So I didn't have to delete the ghosts, but the ghosts have been mostly fading away. So Carla is going to be on the timeline by herself, which is actually a good thing because she's going to l live a very, very long time. So I didn't want the family tree to bug out. Finally, we have the sun resistance. So now we can go riding with the horses and do everything with them in the sunlight too. Okay, vampire sparring does not count as starting a fight. Oh no, we're losing Cleopatra. Okay, so we're down to just two horses now. And it's 8 a.m., so everyone is heading out because they're all teenagers. <laughs> oh, why did my don't drink for 14 days in a row reset? I didn't have the focus on it when I got the 14th day, so maybe that's what happened. I know I didn't drink without permission. Great, so we have to do that one over again. Oh, I can do a vampire duel. Maybe that works. Although I know this is going to ruin her conflict resolution. Surely that's considered a fight, right? Mm, it doesn't look like it. Well, that'll get me Max despised, hopefully. Yes, so maybe now I can fight him? Okay, I still don't have the option to start a fight with him. So it doesn't really pay for her to start fights with vampires. Okay, maybe fight day will count. We'll see, but that is one way I can do it without ruining my conflict resolution. Okay, I don't think it counts. 
No, that doesn't count either. Okay, fine. I have to do it the hard way. At least it's available for her right away because for some reason she just doesn't like me. I think it's because of my hissing. Okay, come on. That's got to count. I started a fight. All right, that is not counting either. I think it's because I'm a vampire, maybe. Or maybe I have to be at the school. Maybe I have to go to school and start a fight. Okay, there is someone here who is actually not friendly with me. And it's not fight day, and we're not in a club meeting, and we're at school. Can I get credit for starting a fight, please? I have to have the aspiration active, though. I almost made that mistake. Oh, come on, that has to count. No. Great. What? Why are you drinking? No. Why are you drinking? You are not thirsty. Okay. Well, this is going to ruin my streak. For some reason, she's going to go attack someone and I can't stop her. Well, I have never seen that happen. All right, the last thing that I can do is try to frame someone for a prank by pranking a locker or something and then saying it with someone else. But if that doesn't work, I have to assume that it's because I'm a vampire that I'm not getting credit for this. Okay, I think I triggered my own stink capsule. Great. Maybe it's because she's angry. And now she's going through a phase. Okay, after pranking the whiteboard, I was able to frame another sim, but only after she cleaned it. And now I'm walking all the way over here. Why? Oh no. It's the principal. Why did I walk all the way to the principal? Maybe it's because I'm telling him. I better go to class. Hopefully after class, I can also frame him because <laughs> class was starting and that was not good. Okay, after class, it gave me the ability to do, to do it. So now can I go start a fight with that person? Okay, I don't see the ability to start a fight with her. I'm just going to have to cure my vampirism. All right, well, fine, if that's the way it's going to be. Now, during the great Thanos snap, we had Agnes Crumplebottom, who was our childhood best friend friend. So I tried to delete her. And even though I deleted the family that she was a part of, she still remained in the game and we still knew her. So we actually made her a vampire because that was one of the easy ways to complete the family vampire aspiration was that she was already a good friend. And so I'm thinking that's probably not the best thing to have her as a vampire. So we're going to friendly offer to cure her of her vampirism before we cure ourselves. And if she accepts, then she will no longer be a vampire. But if she does not accept, then we are going to have to be mean and slay the vampire. She accepted our offer to turn her, actually. Okay, and she's going to accept the cure and drinking it drink it willingly. Okay, so we don't have to make enemies out of her. So she will no longer be a vampire, and then I'll make another drop for myself. Well, we reached level 7 of the mixology skill while we're doing this. And bottoms up, let's cure our vampirism. Okay, now we need to start a fight. Hopefully the fact that when in a club gathering doesn't matter now that I'm not a vampire. All right, so we're getting into an actual fight instead of being a vampire and fighting. All right, that counted. It was definitely the vampirism. So we got to dare or frame a sim. So let's try apologizing first so that we can get our conflict resolution back or at least a little bit. Because it's so annoying that you can't get these things done without absolutely ruining your character values. Oh, that helped a lot. It almost got us back up to where we were. Okay, I think I can also insult him and then immediately apologize for it, which is stupid, but hey, it's something I need to do. Okay, so we're going to dare him to set up a social media password stealer. I don't know if that'll work or not, but we successfully dared him.
and our aspiration is complete. Oh, and we got our conflict resolution back in range again. Now we just need to work on responsibility, and I want to get fired from this job. So unfortunately, I took a vacation day last time instead of not showing up for work on accident because I had a holiday and I didn't realize the holiday had a day off from work and school. So that is also bringing my responsibility down. So we're going to have to work on responsibility somehow. I think we might do some school projects because I actually wanted to do all of the school projects anyway. Yeah, and I only even need to do one to get my responsibility back in range, but I need to miss work again probably a couple of times. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to do at least two more. All right, so we're on vacation from school and we missed our job. So that's what we need to do for at least a couple more days. I don't understand why the Snapdragon spliced plant is only getting Snapdragons. It's just so annoying. The other ones were getting dragon fruit and cow plant berries and I threw them away because I thought, hey, I just need to get one from this plant and it's just not happening. They're all snapdragons on there. Now that we finished all the teen aspirations, we really don't have anything holding us back other than we need to get our responsibility back in range and keep the rest of the character values in range. But I kind of forgot about all of the competitions that the high school has for cheerleaders, for football day, for science fairs. So maybe we'll do one or two more weeks as a teenager and participate in as many of those as we can. And then we'll age up to an adult. And I've already got a lot of skills on butterscotch and tornado so i'm kind of trying to finish the horse aspiration as well oh claude renee so someone actually introduced me to claude renee or Guidry because he has a bad reputation and so do i and my atrocious reputation is achieved. Well, the good thing about that is that I can now bribe my boss for job performance. However, right now I really don't need it because I want her to get fired. <laughs> okay, football team sports day. What do we do? Ideally, I'd like to win all of the competitions. Um, but where is everyone? <laughs> I don't know if I can participate if I'm not a football team member, but maybe. Oh, someone's playing catch with me. Okay. Hopefully the vendors at least get here because I want to buy the t-shirt. I want to unlock all of the stupid Kaz t-shirts that I can. Okay, I'm going to buy the outfits, but I don't want to wear them because I like my current outfit. Okay, what else do you have? I don't know if you can get these figurines and other things from Build By. You probably can. Okay, I'm not sure how I can submit a competition score if I don't have one. Or if I have to be part of the full team. I don't know how this works. I never really come to these stupid things. All right, well, we can take a picture. And he's in my way. That's better. Yeah, I had no competition score to submit, so I'm not sure what competition it is. Maybe it's the cheerleading one. There's no option to do anything with the footballs other than play practice. So I'm not sure if that is the competition that is going on here or if it's the cheerleading one. The milk you entered didn't shake the judge to be a winner. Please accept this participation award for trying. Check your Sims and Households inventory to find your submission. Be prepared for next week's. Okay, that's the Finchwick Fair competition result, which I did not participate in. I'm not even sure how I was supposed to participate in this one. Maybe I have to be a football team member. Well, let me know in the comments, should we just 
forget about the rest of the fairs for the high school fairs. I think they're glitched anyway. I may try a few more and see where we get with them. Or should we just skip on ahead to the adult stuff now? Well, I decided to see if a group routine will get us a score, but unfortunately, um, one of my group is a vampire. So hopefully she gets the idea that she needs to go home. Oh, we got a score of nine. That's terrible. Um, I don't see the competition person. I just see this teacher who is um, not sure what she's wearing, but that's not very appropriate for a high school teacher. And there's no competition judge. I probably did it too late, but now I know how to do the cheerleading one and probably the football one is the same. You have to come here with people and it says seven sims or less for cheerleading so I'm assuming that you probably need only three or four and the least amount of teens you come with the better because I'm thinking that maybe the competition judge did not spawn because I have too many people with me and there's too many sims in the zone so yeah I cannot submit my score, regardless of how terrible it is. <laughs> that kind of sucks though. In order to win this, you would have to have a lot of teens that are really high in the fitness skill. Well, that's it for this week. So again, let me know in the comments if we should stay a teenager or if we should work on something else. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>